The rivalry between Apple and Samsung is no secret, and the ongoing battle between the iPhone and Samsung's popular Galaxy range doesn't look to be going anywhere anytime soon. Although iPhones are some of the best-selling handsets in the world, when it comes to sheer power, Samsung continues to hold the upper hand. Take the Galaxy S4, for example. With quad-core innards and one of the best screens on the market, the iPhone 5 seems to be lagging way behind when it comes to technical prowess. But it's still by no means an underpowered device, so why all the fuss when it comes to specs? What Samsung's done is it's taken some headline features. It's got a full HD screen, a quad-core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and while a lot of consumers might not actually know what this means, they know they want to future-proof and get the best device they can. And so these headline specs really help to sell the phone. The latest addition to the iPhone range is set to launch on September the 10th and will be rolling out alongside Apple's brand new iOS 7 operating system. The latest software update will bring a radical overhaul to Apple devices, but will we see a similar bump in hardware in the iPhone 5S that will help close the gap with the Samsung Galaxy S4? Apple is probably going to go once again with an aluminium design, sleek, a smaller screen and not have that quad-core processor that admittedly isn't needed but will get consumers' hearts racing when they're in this phone shop thinking about what they're going to get next. So there's a real worry that with the iPhone 5S it will sell well enough but it won't be enough to keep Apple's momentum going in the future. Still, the word on the grapevine is that we could be seeing one or two improvements packed into the 5S. One such improvement is thought to be the addition of a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash which would bring a massive boost to the iPhone's camera credentials and bring it more in line with Samsung's flagship phone. Is Apple going to really supercharge the camera this time and bring in that dual LED flash we've been seeing in the leaks? It'd be interesting to see if that's the area that tries to kind of reclaim the people who have moved to Samsung for the kind of more lifestyle photo options it offers in its devices. Apple has always maintained that it doesn't really care about other companies when it comes to its phones. But with more powerful Android smartphones steamrolling onto the market every day, is Apple starting to take note? Apple will always say that they don't care about their competitors, they're just trying to make the best phone that they can. But in truth, they'll be looking at something like the Samsung Galaxy S4 and saying, we need to do better, especially with their flagship phone. So what we're expecting from the 5S is something that, that is a little bit better than Samsung. And I think that they'll be trying very hard to show everyone that Apple can innovate, that it can still be at the cutting edge. They want people to say that the iPhone is the best phone on the market.